Exercise uh, 1521. So we'll read it and come back here. So looking in here on page uh, 569, we see the chart that has our support departments listed of human resources and information systems. We have our operating departments listed with corporate sales and consumer sales. Notice that we have our budgeted costs incurred before any interdepartment cost allocations, meaning these are the budgeted costs for the department. <coughs> uh, so those totals that we have for each of those. Now, uh, we have our support work supplied by human resources department. Uh, this is based on budgeted number of employees. And so our human resources they don't have a number in there because this is the department that we're talking about. So for our information systems, they have 21 of those uh, employees working for info systems, 42 are working for corporate sales, and 23 of the people are working for consumer sales. When we're looking at our second support department of info systems, we're seeing that the driver within the info system is processing time in minutes. And so the human resources requires 320 minutes of processing time. Corporate sales requires 1,920 minutes and consumer sales requires 1,600. The reason that info systems does not have a number in there is because that's their department. And so all of those minutes are used within their departments to reach the needs of those other departments. In our directions, number one, allocate the support department's cost to the operating departments using the direct method. Under the direct method, human resources does not allocate any of their 72,700 to info system. It only goes to corporate and consumer sales. For our info systems, that 234400 will only go to corporate and consumer sales based on the drivers for each of those. Can you? Uh, I'm not getting that at all. Well, maybe as we're doing it, it'll make more sense. Okay. Uh, and that's why, as you saw in uh, Blackboard, we had that sheet with multiple schedules on it because it, it, it's trying to grasp what is that darn chart telling me. And so uh, let's work with it a couple times and then we'll revisit as we need to, okay? Not trying to put you off, but I, th I think working with it will help more than talking. So this is our s direct method. I don't know what I started writing. So under the direct method, we have our two support departments, human resources, HR, and the driver in HR is number of employees. Okay. So as we're allocating, we need the total cost divided by the driver. So what's the total cost in our HR department? Yes, it is. Excellent. Now, the bottom part of this is drivers, and we just identified that the drivers in HR are number of employees. So how many employees do we have in our operating departments? We have how many for co corporate sales? 42. And how many for our consumer sales? You got it. So there's our formula. Um, total on the bottom then will be 70, I think. I would like you to round two. 
uh, four digits if needed. And I'll tell you why. Because if we don't, we're going to have some rounding errors. We'll have some dollars that we don't have a clue where they are. They're out in cyberspace. So we'll just make that a policy. So 1038.5714. Two, nine, and if I round it to the fourth, uh, we've got a two, so I would round down. So it would be 1038.5714 per employee. So now I'm ready to allocate my costs for my two operating departments. So I have my corp, believe it or not, that's what it is. <laughs> my corp, oh, I did it a second time, oh well. <laughs> so I've got that rate times the number of employees in the corporate sales. How many employees times that 42? Uh, this rounds right up to 43,620. So then our consumer sales, it's that same rate. And their number of employees is 28. Thank you very much. So with that, have we allocated all of the HR department costs? Total amount, 0, 10, 7, 12, 72, 700. Yep, we did them all. And because we carried it out to that fourth digit, then we didn't have any lost dollars or pennies in the midst. So why don't we do the 21 employees and the information? Because of the direct method. So if you'll hold that thought, we'll apply that on our step-down method if our HR comes first. So good thought with that. Uh, we have enough time. We can probably run through and finish up this with our direct method. So let's do so. So this is our HR department. The other support department that we have is IS. And in IS... The driver is time, processing time. So we'll take our total dollars that we have in that department, 234,400, divided by their driver. Now, because this is the direct method, we will ignore the number of minutes that human resources use. So 1920 for my first operating department and 16 oops 1600 for the second one All right God bless you and if we do this to our four digits again uh, 66.5909 and then we apply that to our corp division and to our consumer division and only to those departments. And there's my rate. And then our driver corp had 1920 minutes and Consumer had 1,600. And notice with this, even though we carried it to four digits, we're still a little bit off, which is fine when you're looking at these, this volume of numbers. 234, 399.97. Funky looking. But that is our direct method, and notice that we did ignore the other supporting departments. Uh, we did not 
deal with them at all. They receive none of the costs. But next time, we'll pick up with our doing the number two in here, rank the support departments based on the percentage of their services provided to the other departments. And so we'll be taking a look at what percentage do they get. I am totally in favor of a, a rounding to this um, uh, with our rate to four digits, I am not in favor of doing percentages. I mean, we'll use the percentage to figure out which one to come first. But just as a heads up, that we might see that in some of our solutions where they say, well, it's X percent. I like to keep it as, uh, uh, as close to a number as I can, especially using rates. So questions or problems, bring them in. A reminder, uh, the chat test for chapters four through six uh, Hannah, we've talked to you. You're going to turn yours in on, on Monday. Uh, Mary, you need to get yours in uh, ASAP because on Monday I need to hand you another test and it will be chapter 7 and 9. So if you have homework or something that you want to get checked, uh, we'll certainly do that.